For me, the Grants to Artists program embodies what the Black Rock Arts Foundation is really all about. We like to find artists who are creating opportunities for engagement in interactive projects from start to finish. With small amounts of money, we like to see the project and offer support. That feeling of somebody believes in me that hopefully will create magic. In the end product we hope will be transformational. When we first started, we believed that interactivity was interacting with the sculptor. Being able to touch a sculpture on like you could in a museum, that's where we began our thinking. And as time evolved, we realized there was so much more to it. There were so many more layers that could be added on. There were so many other ways you could engage. When an artist offers an opportunity for the community to come in and be engaged, a different idea is born than what was originally conceived. And everyone's allowed to participate and everyone gives something and takes something away from it. And that's really the magic of what interactive art's all about. So the Aeolian Ride was something we funded really early on and the part I loved about it was that you would download the pattern and it was kind of fantastic and, and strange to observe and, and probably really fun and exhilarating to be a part of and it brought people together in a way that they probably never experienced before. Workshops have been a theme that have come up pretty much since the beginning. Suava Rama, Rama was one of the first things we funded. The concept there was that you'd bring your clothing in to a space and you would swap it with other people's clothing and people would be there to help you design new clothing out of it. So you'd walk out with not only new skills under your belt, but also new clothes to wear. <laughs> Storyline Transport brought kids together. It taught them how to make shadow puppets and it offered them an opportunity to perform shadow puppet theater in their community. This workshop was mobile, moving around to different locations and different neighborhoods throughout Chicago, Illinois. Cardboardia was one of the international projects we funded in Moscow, Russia. At one event, kids were invited to costume themselves as knights, fashioning armor, swords, and shields. A variation from the same group saw an entire environment created out of cardboard, allowing people to become immersed in the cardboard world in which they could now explore and create together. So if it's true that great cultures foster great art, then I believe the converse is also true, and that art can foster communities to be engaged, can make people realize that where they live and how they live their lives in, is enriched with art, and that being civic-minded in relationship to their art and their community is a really healthy place to be, and our world needs that right now. And that can take us to the global. That can start to have us have an impact on the world. We were proud to be one of the first funders of the Global Lives Project. In this project, people around the world are filmed for an entire 24-hour period. That means while they're sleeping, when they're eating, and as they're going through their daily lives. It gives people an opportunity to look at the world differently by seeing the way others around the world are living and breathing just as they are. Informed by the Works Progress Administration of the Great Depression in the 1930s, the Work Office invited people to sign up to work by fulfilling assignments to explore, document, or improve daily life in New York City. The workers would show up, show their art, and receive Depression-era wages during their weekly payday parties. The Ghana Think Tank took video recordings of people sharing their personal problems in first world countries. Then they were sent to people around the world to see how they would solve the very same problems. Think tanks include, among others, a group from Ghana, Mexico, Palestine, Serbia, and Iran. Omega Mart was pretty fun. It blurred the lines between art and commercialization. In Santa Fe, New Mexico, kids were invited to create their own products. Along with that, they also made their own printed materials and their own advertisements. These products were put on the shelves, like in a real store, and people came in and wandered the aisles looking at all the products. Another project was inspired by an artist's desire to improve a rundown area in New Orleans. She transformed the side of a neighborhood building into a giant chalkboard and invited her neighbors to write on it, asking the community to supply their own answers to the powerful question, before I die, I want to... This piece immediately engaged and transformed the community. Based on the success of the first location, this project has now spread 
to many countries, inspiring communities to reflect and to participate. The thing I love about this work is that we're taking so many risks and we're still learning so much. Every year we challenge ourselves as to what interactivity means. Grants to Artists has funded everything, all kinds of things like parades, like the Hong Festival where people come together to create sound and noise together, to the PDX Bridge Festival in Portland, which transformed a bridge in celebration of its 100th year. Perspectives is a piece that suspends oversized children's blocks around a public area. And when a passerby stands in just the right spot, an inspiring message is revealed. The Music Box transformed a decrepit building into a collection of musical instruments. This space was open to the community to play in. It also brought along professional musicians and all kinds of people that got a chance to perform in it as well. It's been amazing that we've been able to fund artists that have never done art before. The more amazing part is that people have been engaged in ways that they've become communities and that's a ripple effect that inspires so many people. And it doesn't matter where you are, that can happen you know, any place in the world. Over the last decade, the Grants to Artists Committee has given away about $350,000 to about 80 different projects in 22 different states and 12 countries. We're looking for those people that want to have that kind of transformational experience. You might create something you never knew existed, something that no one knew was needed, something that, once it's created, enriches the world. That's the kind of art that we want to support.